The cashew, one of the world's favorite snacks prized for its flavor and dense crunchiness. Of the nut family, it is the most expensive to buy, thus making it a rare treat as compared to the common walnut or even the lowly peanut. Now have you ever wondered how the cashew ends up in your grocery store? Did you know that there are only four places in the world which harvests cashews, and that each cashew is picked by hand and is surrounded by a caustic sap? Join me as we discover the secrets of the cashew. The cashew was discovered by the Portuguese in the 1500s when they invaded Brazil and were planted by early settlers along the east coast of Africa. Brazil, India and African countries are among the top cashew producing countries in the world. But recently, the sweetest cashews are found to be growing in Vietnam, which is where this story takes us. Saigon, Vietnam The history of Saigon goes back to the 15th century about the time the cashew was discovered. In those days, this area was nothing more than swamps and dense jungle. A small township was formed then and the swamps filled to create streets and the beginnings of the town. The French invaded Saigon in the 1700s and remained until 1954, leaving behind the French provincial architecture and the scooter. The ubiquitous scooter is the main mode of transport for 80% of Saigon's residents. Crossing the street, especially for foreigners, is a daunting task. The local manage by instinct. Our travelers wait and wait and then close their eyes and step into the street. They make it across safely. Despite the country's tumultuous history, Vietnam is a place of beauty. From colorful exotic locales, which are relatively untouched, to pristine resorts. The open air markets are considered to be the oldest in the world. And the abundance of ocean life and farming means that the cuisine is second to none. Today we're going to head out an hour of the city to one of the many plantations where the cashew grows. The typical cashew tree can grow from 40 to 50 feet in height and is related to the mango and pistachio tree as well as poison ivy and poison oak from its caustic resin. From fragrant blossoms to fruit, the cashew tree has many uses. The fruit is used in jams and jellies, and even caustic sap is used as a varnish for furniture and books or pharmaceuticals. And the cashew nut. It grows on the end of each apple which comes in either a red or yellow variety. And then the apple ripens and then falls off of the tree and immediately begins to ferment. Workers get up at the crack of dawn to harvest from the ground before the temperatures get too hot. As they pick, the sound of falling cashew apples can be heard throughout the plantation. Later in the day, the workers gather the fruit into large piles and remove the nut portion of the fruit by hand. In harvesting its cashews, Dandy Pack also prevents the use of pesticides and supports the use of organic cashews. As much of the cashew plant is used for various other purposes, for it is not in the Vietnamese mentality to waste. The nuts are then put into large trucks and taken to transfer stations where they are weighed and then laid out to dry in the hot sun before being readied for shipment to processing stations. The next morning the trucks arrive at the processing station where the sacks of cashews are unloaded and then laid out in the sun to dry further. Workers pick through and remove any debris or unwanted cashews which dry for a few days. What? The cashews are then gathered up and left to soak for several hours before being superheated to 1400 degrees with steam. Why? As we mentioned earlier, the cashew grows inside a shell which contains caustic resin. This resin called cardo causes blisters on the skin like poison ivy or poison oak. It lies between the outer layers of the cashew. 
A third layer surrounds the cashew nut itself to further protect it from the cardinal fluid. By using an age-old process, the fluid is separated from the shell by rotating the cashews over perforated cylinders over immense heat, which splits the skin and release the caustic fluid. The next step is to remove the now hardened shell from the cashew. This can only be done individually by hand to prevent the cashew from breaking, which is why no one has developed a machine to do this work. During the harvesting months between February and May, hundreds of workers removed the shells from each individual nut. The cashews are then dried yet again before readying for the next step. Now that the cardinal fluid has been extracted and the cashew itself stripped from its shell, the thin brown inner skin must be removed to reveal a perfect white whole cashew. Skilled workers with very quick fingers scrape off this final layer of each and every nut. In a single shift, a worker can remove the skins from 10 pounds of nuts in a day. Traditionally, cashew crops were processed in the homes of the farm laborers. Through dedicated efforts to educate staff and provide clean modern facilities, Dandy Pack leads the way in not only providing world-class products for consumers, but also fair working conditions for the people who work for them. Before the cashews leave the processing station, they are weighed and sent to the grading center where workers pick through and grade the nuts for size and imperfections before they are packed and loaded onto trucks yet again for the trip to the packaging plant.